Example four says identify the types of conics in each of the following sections. So the first one says 3x squared plus 3y or 3x squared equals 3x or 3y squared plus 18. Can't talk right now, but anyways. So when we take a look at this, this is not in standard form. If I put this into standard form, it would be 3x squared minus 3y squared minus 18 is equal to zero. And here I have x squared and the y squared. I have the two squares being different, um, being opposite signs. So if I look back over here, when I have the x squared and the y squared, and they have opposite signs, then we have a hyperbola. So the first one there is a hyperbola. So in the next one that we take a look at in number two, I have, um, if I were to multiply this out, I will get x squared here being multiplied out. And that's the only square that I have. So then I have my y squared being zero. And when I have an x squared and the y squared being zero, then that will be a parabola to where the coefficient on the x squared or y squared must be zero. So number two is a parabola. So let's take a look at number three. Number three, I have x squared plus y squared is equal to four. In this one, I have the same coefficient and the same sign on my squares. And anytime I have the same coefficient and the same sign on my squares, that is a special type of ellipse, which is called a circle. Remember, if I have the same co or if I have the uh, same signs but different coefficients, then that is just an ellipse. Let's take a look at number four. With number four, I have the same sign and the same um, coefficients for my x squared and y squared. So this will be another circle. For number five, I have x squared divided by x and y squared divided by two, which my coefficient would be at, um, one six x squared plus one half y squared is equal to one. So here I have different coefficients, but the same sign. So this is going to be an ellipse. And just as a review again, for an ellipse, the coefficients of x squared and y squared are the same sign, but different values. If it's the same value, then it is a circle. Let's take a look at the last one here. I have x squared and y squared but they have different signs on them. And if we review back over here, the different signs will give me a hyperbola to where my x squared and y squared have opposite signs. So my last one here is a hyperbola.